New maps, new weapons, and new gameplay. Oh, and some Battle Royale at the end as well. The Battlefield 5 Gamescom trailer is jam-packed full of new awesomeness for us to check out, so let's dive straight into this breakdown. Starting at the very beginning, this opening shot shows off the devastated city, presumably after the Germans bombed it, and we can see a soldier in the middle there holding what appears to be a Suomi SMG, but it might well be something different because you can see an attached bipod on there. Now the next sequence shows off the full length of the teaser that we saw yesterday, a German tank turning and firing down one of the ruined streets, sending enemy soldiers just flying up in the air. Cutting to after the intro credits, we get a wide sweeping shot of Rotterdam before the bombing, so I think we can safely say now that the concept art that we saw at the reveal of Battlefield 5 has been acted on, and two different maps are taking place in Rotterdam in Battlefield 5. The next shot shows a bridge of the undestroyed map, perhaps giving us an idea for vertical gameplay that that map will include. We're all expecting this to be an urban map, so vertical gameplay is something we should usually expect as well. Jumping ahead, we see another sequence used for the teasers, this time all but confirming the inclusion of the Thompson SMG being held by the soldier in the middle here. And yesterday, I mistook the weapon being held by the soldier on the left for the Sten SMG. Some of my commenters said it might be something different, but without having a clearer look, I won't speculate any further. It just doesn't look like a weapon that we've seen before. Moving forward, in this shot here, you can see soldiers running down one of the Rotterdam streets, and the machine gun that this guy is holding is the Vickers K machine gun. This was actually a rapid-firing machine gun that was developed for use on aeroplanes, but it was adopted for land use during World War II. It had an extremely high rate of fire, and was supposed to be used in short bursts to attack aeroplanes. Could be a really interesting one, this. Moving inside one of the buildings, we get a look at everyone's favourite gadget in Battlefield games, the Grenade Launcher. This looks to be built onto the end of a Lee Enfield rifle, almost making it a makeshift grenade launcher rather than one that was purpose-built, which is quite interesting to see. As the soldier drops out of the window, we see the soldier on the ground holding the FG-42, a rather iconic weapon from World War II. This, personally, is one I cannot wait to try out, and I'm really hoping DICE decides to include this one in the Gamescom build next week. Moving forward some here, we get a view of a soldier running next to a Kettenkrad half-track, holding what looks like the Ross Rifle, which is a Canadian weapon famed for its accuracy, but not its reliability. Now, we saw this weapon enter Battlefield 1 only very recently in the final DLC, Apocalypse. So, if it's in Battlefield 5 for launch, we can pretty much guarantee that most people will be using it this time around. Next shot shows off the double barrel shotgun, actually one of the first times we've seen shotguns in Battlefield 5. Up until this point, shotguns appear to just have been forgotten about, and likely this isn't the only one we'll see at launch, but it's interesting that DICE chose to show this one rather than a more conventional adopted shotgun of one of the armies in World War II. This shot here, just before the V1 rocket explodes, gives us another good look at the Rotterdam map before it is completely destroyed, and thematically I think the V1 rocket is supposed to do that in this trailer, but during normal gameplay we know the V1 rocket doesn't totally destroy maps. You can see soldiers up the top of the metro line there, and some other soldiers down on the streets and surrounding the canals as well. This map is giving me Amiens vibes and Sen Crossing vibes from Battlefield 3. Both of those were amazing urban maps, so here's to hoping this one is just as good. The trailer then changes up after that explosion, switching action back to the second, almost completely destroyed Rotterdam map. Thinking about how grand operations are going to work in Battlefield 5, there will be two different maps over four separate battles that occur on different in-game days. This well could be the Rotterdam operation setup that we're seeing right now. Play through the first day and the second day on the first map, where you'll be fighting in the town before the bombing, and then the bombing hits, and the fighting continues after. 
The action moves down to the destroyed streets below now, and we see another new weapon here, although it's extremely difficult to know what it is, considering we only see the sights, but judging by its rate of fire, and the bulk of it on the screen, I'm going to call this out as some LMG of some sort. We then switch to a soldier jumping into a tank, and we get another shot of the destroyed city, this time showing the Metro Bridge has actually been taken down by the bombing. Perhaps this map will offer more grounded gameplay compared to the first? We're going to have to wait and see. More shots here of destroyed and ruined buildings everywhere. This level really does fit the title of Devastation. And then in this shot here, we can see the large cathedral on the left hand side. That's one that was shown in the concept art for the map. So it looks like we've got another big playable area to go and explore. The trailer then moves again, and this time to a map that we saw in the reveal trailer all the way back in May. After checking out on the Battlefield website, it was mentioned that this map takes place on the Esco River in France, so I'm going to call this map Esco for now. A wide, expansive shot shows off the wet marshland that we'll be able to fight over, and obviously highlighting the dogfighting between the British and German planes above. You can also see the giant bridge in more detail. That was the one we saw in the reveal trailer as well, I'd be extremely happy if that bridge was part of the playable area of the map. We could see some awesome infantry battles up there, maybe even mixed in with tanks, sort of like a standoff with tanks at each end. Then we jump down to ground level to see a fight happening in the marshes, showing off the combined arms battles that this map will offer, and then again we switch locations, this time over to the deserts of North Africa. We get a full look here at the teaser clips we were fed yesterday, a soldier climbing up into the tank, and the tank catching some air over a sand dune, and then back into the action. All-out warfare in the North African desert with planes, tanks, and infantry all clashing together. That's some proper battlefield action right there. Another change of scenery, back to snow, and this presumably is another map set in Norway. We already know about Narvik, and considering a grand operation will be happening for that map, it only makes sense that a second snow map would be present in Battlefield 5. This one looks to be high up in the mountains, so a completely different landscape to the harbour of Narvik, and I'm pretty sure that ground vehicles wouldn't be able to get up the mountains, so I think this might be an infantry focus map, and because obviously we've got some planes here, maybe there's going to be some space in the skies for dogfighting. And very quickly following that, we get this shot of what looks like a field in France. The yellow that you're seeing is rapeseed plants. That makes the whole scene extremely yellow. But it is worth noting that we've seen something like this in concept art already. This might be the second French map that's in the game, although at the moment we don't even know how many maps we will be getting for multiplayer in Battlefield 5. The trailer changes yet again, and this time we see a soldier using a throwing knife to take down another, dressed as a high-ranking German soldier. I can't actually remember if throwing knives have already been featured somewhere in another trailer. I don't think they have, so this pretty much confirms that throwing knives are in the game somewhere. This to me, however, looks a little bit more like a single-player cutscene or a single-player section of the game, but it appears to take place inside that massive cathedral on the devastated Rotterdam map, so it could well be in multiplayer as well. A few quick cuts now, we get a massive explosion, another clip of a dogfight in the snowy mountains, a soldier calling out for help in the desert, a rather concerned looking soldier here, another soldier reviving their teammate in some sort of autumnal forest setting, that looks really really cool, a German half-track smashing through cover, and lastly a German soldier running for cover in the yellow fields of France. However, that's not everything in this trailer. Right at the end, after the Battlefield 5 logo, DICE decided to stick some Battle Royale in there for us. A huge snowy map that has been scorched on one side due to the massive ring of fire closing in on the centre. This looks awesome. It looks like DICE has chosen to take on the snowy Norwegian setting for their Battle Royale offering, at least for the first map. I mean, 
Don't know if they're going to do any more than one, but that's a really good choice considering some of the other Battle Royale games out there. I can't really think of any that have a snow map as their setting. Plumes of smoke are flying up into the sky. Presumably, this ring is DICE's ring system for the mode, which I've got to say does look really, really cool. Next, we see a tank smashing through a building. That's two things in one shot that DICE mentioned at EA Play. They wanted to include in their Royale mode, vehicles and destruction. So it's great to see that is pretty much confirmed here. And lastly, the trailer finishes out with a sequence involving all the soldiers realizing they're right in the center of this fire ring. What a way to tease your Battle Royale mode. I'm really excited for it now. And before I was apprehensive, but now there's something to actually see for it, I am quite excited. Now, this was an awesome trailer. Absolutely awesome. I'm not going to harp on about this being better than their previous trailers. Should have been the trailer that they released at the start. We're past that now. This is exactly what I wanted coming into Gamescom. And I cannot wait, absolutely cannot wait, to play the Rotterdam map next week. That's the trailer torn apart and searched in. But I'm sure I've missed a few things. There's probably things that you guys have spotted that I've missed here. So drop me some comments below and I'll drop some hearts on them so they rise to the top. That way people can learn even more about this trailer for Battlefield 5 and get some hints and insights into what's going on here. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and have notifications switched on so you don't miss any of my future videos. But until next time... My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.